Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Monday, November 30th, and I have some good messages to share with you today. It's 2.27 p.m., and I'm reading to you from Dawn's newsletter. Now, this is These are all good. I believe in my heart they come from the Lord. This first one is Small Straws and a Soft Wind by Marsha Burns. Now listen to this because this is going to really help some people. Refuse to allow condemnation to take you down. Many of you feel that you make more mistakes than you get things right. But I tell you honestly... That the enemy of your soul is lying to you. You have not been this way before. And understanding what is not effective is valuable to your life experience. It is part of your learning process. Set yourself to walk and live in the spirit. And she puts with it Romans 8 1. There is, therefore, now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. Are you in Christ Jesus? Who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. So try to always make, let the Spirit lead. And not your fleshly desires. And you'll have fewer and fewer times of thinking you messed up and didn't get it right. So, anyway, I'm going to end it at that. This one is awesome. It's called Make Your Heart Ready. And it was actually received or put up or submitted. I don't know how you would put it. November 26th, 2020, most likely received, because Dawn is, is Johnny on the spot, quick to put them up when she gets them. And the person just signs their name, J. Beloved, in your lifetime, you will suffer. You will understand suffering. But you will not and you cannot understand the depth and breadth of my own suffering. You will not understand a fraction of my suffering. Let me turn that off. I got up early. That was my get up call. Alright. You will not understand a fraction of my suffering. I withstand it. I do not bow or bend under this weight. I am almighty. I am first. I am last. I will soon arise from my throne. I am ready. All is ready here for my bride. Listen. You will hear a sound as a mighty wind, a roar. You will hear this sound and there will be no mistaking it. Are you ready? Make your heart ready. You who weep now shall reign with me. You who deny me shall suffer and bear the weight. I wish that none would suffer eternally. Eternity is without end. Do you hear that? Eternity is without end. Do not think you will die and just take a dirt nap and that's it. And you're gone forever and no more worries and cares, whatever. I threw that in. Moving on. Say my name. I say again, say my name. 
call out to me. Praise me. I dwell in your praise. Come worship. Make time for me. I wait, beloved. Soon you shall say my name to my face. And you shall hear me say your name. I will give you a new name. Everything of old shall pass away. Everything will be new. That's the end of the word. But can you say his name? Jesus! Jesus! That's what he wants. Praise him this day. Say, Jesus, I praise you. I love you. I worship you. None other but you. Call upon his name this day. Tell him that you love him. Ask him to forgive you of every little thing that causes him grief. He is suffering more than us over our loved ones who aren't ready. Do not think you will go if you're entangled in sin. You have to put it down and repent. And beg him to help you stop. You need his Holy Spirit. You need to be filled with the Holy Spirit to make the first fruits. I re-listened to the message I got on the two raptures. Only a small amount go the first time. Because most people don't get it. They're either stuck in the once saved, always saved, or they believe they've repented of everything they've done and don't think their little daily things matter. But they do because he wants us to be holy. Every time you slip up and use his name in vain, there's a stain on your shirt. If you cut someone off in traffic because they made you mad going around you, there's a stain on your shirt. Now you're not ready. It's little things that add up. You add a little stain here and a little stain there. You think they're no big deal, but they add up. Just repent and realize the word says, be holy, or it says, yeah, for I am holy. And then it says, uh, nothing unholy will enter into the kingdom of heaven. How do you think you should act to be fit to bow down before the king of kings in his glory room? Think about it. I'm not perfect. I just say, Lord, forgive me for that. Please, just forgive me for that. I'm sorry I said that. I'm sorry I thought that. Lord, I'm sorry I complained again. Help me to not complain. Okay, I'm going to move on to the last one. November 30th, 2020. Just as this month is coming to an end, a situation in your life is coming to an end. You're not sure that, you're not sure if that is okay, but I tell you that it is okay. Change is usually not comfortable, but in this case, it will work to your benefit. I will take you by the hand and walk you through this event, and you will know that I am your God. Remember, I look at a situation differently than you do. And, and 
that was the end of this little short word, but this person, Robin Robinson Bolin, she added 2 Corinthians 4, 16-18 from the Message Bible. So, we're not giving up. How could we? Even though on the outside it often looks like things are falling apart on us, on the inside, we're making new life. Not a day goes by without his unfolding grace. I wasn't sure if that we're making new life or it should be we're making new life. On the inside, we're making new life. Not a day goes by. But you might want to look it up in your favorite version. 2 Corinthians 4, 16-18 Alright, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and these words from the Lord. And I pray they have blessed and encouraged you this day. We're going home soon, brothers and sisters. Please be ready. Be ready. I plead the blood of Jesus over the video and over each and every one of us and our devices and our internet connections. And with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later. If not on here, then somewhere up there. God bless each and every one of you.